underwater city of Rapture, where genetic experimentation and the pursuit of perfection collide, a wide array of mutated enemies known as Splicers wander the underwater city. These once-human civilians underwent drastic transformations fueled by the dangerously addictive substance known as Adam. Today, we'll be diving into the drastic evolution of each individual Splicer type found within the Bioshock series. With that being said, sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the video. And very quickly, if you guys want to check out Advanced GG, they're having some Black Friday sales. I'll leave a link down in the description below, and be sure to use code TBH at checkout to save yourself 10% off. So, let's get into the video. In the early days of Rapture, Leadhead Splicers were essentially the agents of chaos. These Splicers, once ordinary citizens, sought out Adam to enhance their physical prowess. Genetic modifications they underwent were relatively mild compared to later Splicer types, focusing more on improved combat skills and heightened aggression. Leadhead Splicers retained a semblance of their past selves, with their faces still being recognizable but twisted by the effects of atom consumption and overall atom addiction. Leadhead Splicers, despite their unsettling appearance, exhibit a disturbing proficiency in combat. Usually armed with firearms, found and scavenged from the remnants of Rapture, these enemies showcase enhanced agility and marksmanship. The once familiar voices of Leadhead Splicers are now warped by the effects of genetic modification. Vocal distortion serves as a haunting reminder that beneath the surface, the humanity of these Splicers has essentially been irreversibly altered and damaged. The driving force behind the transformation of Leadhead Splicers is the insatiable craving for Adam, aka addiction. The effects of Adam act as both a curse and a driving force for Leadhead Splicers, compelling them to continue their pursuit of power and Adam at all costs. As we venture further into Rapture, the imposing figure of the thuggish Splicer comes into focus. These towering adversaries are the embodiment of physical augmentation taken to its extreme, and their presence is a testament to the relentless pursuit of strength from Adam at any cost. Subjected to more aggressive and potent genetic alterations, these Splicers became towering behemoths, their bodies grotesquely distorted and mutilated. Enhanced strength and resilience were prioritized, making thuggish Splicers formidable opponents. Their distorted voices and lumbering movements were a testament to the sacrifices made in the name of gaining more and more power from Adam. Thuggish Splicers, also once ordinary citizens, have undergone a drastic transformation that emphasizes raw physical power. Their limbs are twisted and their hunched posture evoke a sense of both terror and honestly pity, showcasing the toll of relentless genetic modification. Armed with their enhanced strength, Thuggish Splicers typically wield improvised melee weapons, anything from pipes, wrenches, or any available object becomes a powerful weapon in their hands. Encounters with Thuggish Splicers are quite intense as they can unleash a relentless barrage of brutal melee attacks. What sets the Thuggish Splicers apart is not just their physical strength, but also their resilience. Gunfire that usually would incapacitate others only seems to piss them off even further, as they charge forward with more and more aggression. The Houdini Splicers, which are my personal favorite, represent a leap into the unknown realms of genetic experimentation. Fueled by a more experimental form of Adam, these Splicers gained the ability to teleport via the teleportation plasmid, as well as genetic modification. Their bodies underwent radical changes, which includes being able to surprise their adversaries, disappearing and reappearing somewhere else with ease. This added a new layer of challenge for those exploring Rapture. Their bodies seem to ripple with an almost magical energy, and when provoked, they vanish in a burst of smoke, leaving only a faint trail of shimmering particles. Houdini Splicers employ teleportation as their primary tactical advantage. In the midst of a battle, they appear, then they disappear into thin air, only to reappear at a different location. And this can be anywhere from behind you, on top of a ledge, etc. 
This unpredictable and disorienting tactic turns encounters with Houdini Splicers into a dance of teleports and shadows, where the boundaries between reality and illusion blurred together superbly. Their laughter and whispers, distorted and disjointed, fill the air when Houdini Splicers are near, almost like hearing gossip. Their haunting vocalizations further emphasize the surrealness of their existence. The transformation of the Spider Splicers is perhaps the most grotesque body modification of Rapture's obsession with physical perfection as well as Adam. Originally subjects of extreme cosmetic surgeries, thank you Dr. Steinman, these Splicers then took on arachnid characteristics. Their bodies contorted into grotesque forms, their limbs elongating and fingers transforming into spider-like appendages. Spider Splicers then became incredibly agile and acrobatic, allowing them to do things like have the ability to crawl on walls and ceilings with ease. Wonderful. The physical transformation of a Spider Splicer is a nightmarish spectacle to actually sit there and think about. Along with their limbs elongating into spider-like appendages, their bodies also contorted into these grotesque forms, resembling a fucked up hybrid of human and arachnid. Their once human face now sports an unsettling mask of madness, reflecting the disturbing cost of their transformation. Spider splicers, as mentioned, now crawl on walls and ceilings with uncanny speed, defying the laws of gravity. Encounters with spider splicers are not only battles of survival, but tests of spatial awareness. Beneath the spider-like exterior lies a mind distorted by the unforgiving effects of Adam and Adam insanity. Spider splicers are truly masters of ambushes, leveraging their newfound agility to strike from unexpected positions and unexpected angles. They lurk in the shadows, waiting for the opportune moment to pounce on an unsuspecting prey. The element of surprise, coupled with their unsettling appearance, turns encounters with spider splicers into tense and terrifying experiences. The Brute Splicers are grotesque monstrosities, which are featured prominently in Bioshock 2, representing a culmination of genetic experimentation and transformation gone horribly, horribly wrong. As we examine the details of the Brute Splicer, we witness the disturbing results of unrestrained abuse of Adam and its side effects. The Brute Splicer, once an ordinary citizen of Rapture, like all of the other Splicers, now stands as a towering and deformed monstrosity, which is putting it rather lightly. Their bodies have undergone extensive augmentation and transformation, with their muscles grotesquely being enlarged and their limbs being elongated to almost impossible proportions. The twisted, hunched posture of the Brute Splicer speaks of the physical toll inflicted by the ruthless pursuit of genetic enhancement via Adam. In addition to their formidable physical presence, Brute Splicers are armed with makeshift weapons, which often resemble crude melee implements, adding a layer of danger to encounters with these Brutes. Their enhanced strength allows them to wield these improvised weapons with terrifying accuracy and efficiency, turning their surroundings into a playground of powerful weapons. When provoked or threatened, the Brute Splicer enters a state of frenzied aggression. In this enraged or frenzied state, the Brute Splicer becomes an even more formidable foe, relentlessly pursuing their target with one thing on their mind, destruction. So ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else watching, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, would you kindly leave a like on it as it does help this video out tremendously and it helps the channel grow and grow. So thank you for that. If you're new here and enjoy Bioshock content, or if you're coming back on the regular and aren't subscribed, why not? It's free and you can unsubscribe at any time. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. And also, if you don't want to miss any future videos or live streams, feel free to hit the bell and turn on all post notifications. Thank you so much. If you want to stay up to date with me outside of YouTube, you can follow my social medias or subscribe to my second channel or follow me on Twitch, the links to which will be down in the description below. And again, if you want to check out Advanced GG, they're having a lot of Black Friday sales, link will be in the description as well. With that being said, 
Thank you all so very much for watching this video. Take care, stay safe, and I will talk to you all in the next one.